So the second of the chase races is next in. This is the three mile version, and it's for seven year olds and upwards. And at the top, we've got Crackled for Alex Cherry, Andant Shear for Conrad Leet, Acasta Malbis, and Deep Dale for Darren Thompson, Better Bob Irish, and Dawn Ranger for David Robertson. The joke was on me, Derek Hinton, Insatiable Forest, and Time to Shine for Craig Allen, General Idea for John Morgan, Wouldn't It Be Good, Leon Van Rensburg, Armageddon, and Fires at Midnight for Martin Needham, Lawn Tennis. For Graham Clutterbuck, Fresno Mellington for Vinnie Gerrard, Penny Arcade for Alex Cherry, Green Tea and Memphis for David Hooley, Great Balls of Fire for Derek Hinton, Amazing Grace for Joshua Sutherland, Changing Rhythm for Leon Van Rensburg and War Pig for Graham Clutterbuck. So 22 then. Over the three mile triple Ascot and called in and ready to go and off they go. And Great Balls of Fire. Looks like he's going to lead them into the first. A very short run to the first of the fences, which they've all successfully got to the other side of 19 more to take, which will make 20 in all in this three mile chase. Pulling for his head there, the, well, the leading pair are both pulling for their head, and general idea the grey and the light blue jacket for John Morgan. And it's in second, and they won't want that one getting to, into the lead because those John Morgan horses we saw earlier, once they get in front, they're difficult to stop. But a caster, oh, what's happening there? Then we've gone upside down momentarily on oh, John Morgan horse is gone so general idea is out of the race well, he was put off by everything being upside down for five minutes when they come down towards fence number four it wouldn't be the same if we didn't have something go go wrong would it and it's a caster Malbis who is the leader from Amazing Grace is about four lengths back in second then Great Balls of Fire down his near side is third then comes Lawn Tennis and Deep Dale Penny Arcades after that one then Crackle right there Quite wide on the track, one or two of these. Changing rhythm, just about the back marker alongside Memphis in the purple jacket towards the back. But it's a Caster Malbis who's the leader by a good five lengths. Two great balls of fire on the inside second as they take fence number five. Which they're all safely over again with a short one to the sixth. Oh, that one they all going again, all jumping it nicely. It'll be another short run to the seventh. This is a ditch. And the leader really a tower was a four and that's another grey that's gone, it's lawn tennis this time. So lawn tennis is out for Graham Clutterbuck as they get over fence number eight then. So two gone so far. And Castan Malbis is the leader by about five lengths to Amazing Grace in second and Great Balls of Fire in third. Gap of about two or three lengths then back to Wouldn't It Be Good on the inside of Fires of Midnight in the red rum colours. Then comes Deep Dale, then Penny Arcade and Crackle. Time to shine is after that one of the Insatiable Forest. Armageddon is also in that group. Green Tea alongside that one. Changing Rhythm tucked in just behind as they take the next plane. One of they all get over that one okay. Although well, Fires at Midnight pecked and subsequently lost its place and shuffled down the pack a little bit. Memphis is the back marker at this stage and they've still got a mile and three quarters to go and a Castor Malbis is the leader as they come up to this fence which I think will be the final fence on the next circuit and over it they go Oh, mistake there by the Leon Van Rensburg horse wouldn't it be good seeing that one lose its place as well as the crowd give them a good wave past the winning post then with another circuit to go the final circuit of the day on the jumps course we've got one more flat race to come and past the totalisator board we go with a cast of Malbis in the lead within second place amazing grace then comes great balls of fire third penny arcade is four deep down is five and wouldn't it be good is six and then time to shine and crackle and then insatiable forest and green tea fires at midnight after that armageddon and better by morris with door ranger and changing rhythm then war pig trying to get a bit closer and don't share next then the joke was on me and finally Fresno Mellington and Memphis is just the back marker probably no more than 20 lengths off the lead with a cast of Malbis the one that's in that lead as they take fence number 11 I know that one they were going as a fall there towards the back and Dant share has gone so that one's the third one to depart the race and the cast of Malbis continues to lead from Amazing Grace who's now a clear second then comes Great Balls of Fire third as they take fence number 12 and over that one they go down on its nose was I think better Bob Irish one of the two um, David Robertson horses but it's a cast of Malbis who's led pretty much all the way then from Amazing Grace it looks to be going well though in second over that ditch they go and over that one they all go they all jump that one nicely with Memphis still just a back marker and a cast of Malbis the clear leader by three or four to Amazing Grace deep down the stable oh and the Amazing Grace nearly went there but it's now a one two for Darren Thompson it's a cast of Malbis in the lead from deep down in second then comes Penny Arcade in third Amazing Grace is trying to get back into it again then comes Wood 
wouldn't he be good? Fire as a midnight, he's trying to run as well. The joke's on me, he's running a big race. Great balls of fire. It, no, it's, it, sorry, I was getting those two Derek Hints and horses mixed up. But it's a Castor Malbis who's still the leader in by about four or five lengths to Amazing Grace in second. Penny Arcade is third. Deep Dale is fourth. Fires at midnight on the outside trying to get into it as they take the next. Over that one they go and they're all safely over that one. With a custom out is in the lead. Amazing Grace we from that mistake in second. Fires at midnight on the outside is third. Then comes Penny Arcade and Deep Dale. Then wouldn't it be good? Dawn Ranger next and a gap to Green Tears. They take that ditch and over it they go and Amazing Grace now comes the challenge for the lead. It's a custom out in the lead from Amazing Grace and Fires at midnight. Over that one they go, another mistake by Better Bob Irish. Dawn Ranger moves into fourth and now comes through to try and challenge. It's Amazing Grace who's just about got the lead though. But Acasta Malbis is trying to fight back. They've still got a couple more fences to go. And it's Acasta Malbis on the inside. Now being pressed by Green Tea who's come from nowhere. Green Tea comes through to take it up. Green Tea from Acasta Malbis. Amazing Grace is there again. Then wouldn't it be good? And Dawn Ranger crackles trying to get into it as well. They come down towards the second last and over it they go. And Acasta Malbis landed back in the lead again. But now wouldn't it be good taking it up? It's wouldn't it be good racing down towards the final fence. There's about five sitting with a chance here as they come down towards the final fence. Wouldn't it be good in the lead? Time to shine. Amazing Grace. Better by Boris despite those mistakes. He's still there. Coming down towards his final fence now. Over it they go. And a mistake by the leader. And Better by Boris is now swept into the lead. Here comes Dawn Ranger coming through as well. Dawn Ranger. And wouldn't it be good? Crackle is there. Time to shine. This is going to be on the lot as they race up towards the line. Time to shine. He's just in front. And time to shine. He's gonna take it, and time to shine, he's shining and wins it from, wouldn't it be good second door, Ranger third, and then crackle with insatiable forest finish, well changing rhythm after that one, better Bob Irish through the race away with mistakes, and a really exciting finish to the three mile chase, and in the end, time to shine won it quite comfortably really, well about half a length, it was a really good one, it's gonna be fun to see that one rerun when it's been handicapped because it could be totally different so time to shine takes it for Greg Allen wouldn't it be good for Leon Van Rensburg second Dawn Ranger for David Robertson third Crackled for Alex Cherry fourth and Amazing Grace was fifth for Joshua Sutherland